So today I'm going to show you how to take a felt hat and iron out the brim to fix any symmetrical issues or just basically to reset the hat. So if you look at this hat, I'll try to get this straight on the camera, you can see some symmetrical issues. This would also fix, you know, if you have a hat that's trying to tip up in the back, different things like that. You could certainly go to a steam pot and try to try to fix this. Sometimes it's best to start over. So this is how I start over. I use a good iron. I try to go to the max setting it has and then back just a little bit. You can certainly go pretty hot, but then you need to be, you know, a little extra careful. So if this is your first time doing it, maybe start with a little lower or just, you know, less heat. What you'll definitely want to do first is clean the hat and take your time doing that. Whether this is a black hat or a lighter colored hat, make sure it's really, really clean. The other thing you'll need is a towel of some sort. Now, something that isn't polyester or something that won't melt is your best option. So a cotton tea towel or something like that. This, uh, this towel works really well for me. So once I have my steam hot, um, I'm going to start going at this hat. So I like to kind of take my time. I don't necessarily want to iron this out really hard, really fast, but I want to start to get kind of general heat. If you're worried about how to get started, you can certainly also go to your steam pot and get it really warm and try to flatten it as best you can too before you even come to an iron. But today I'm just going to show you how to iron. So I'm just going to start in, in a small portion of it and show you how to do it. So I'm going to take my towel and I'm going to put some of it up here onto the crown and I'm just going to fold it flat. What you'll want to prevent doing is having any folds in there because if you get too much heat and there's a fold, it'll actually kind of dent that felt. So just be kind of cognizant of that. So I'm just going to set it on there and try to get rid of any of those. And then I'm just going to use the steam function and just put a little bit of heat, not pushing down too much. I'm just going to put a little bit on there, set it down, move my hat. Okay. I'm not trying to iron a big section at a time, just whatever this towel will allow me to do. And I am not trying to get everything perfect this first time, okay? What I'm doing with my other hand is keeping the crown pushed down, and I'll show you why, once we go a little bit further into this hat, why that is important. This is basically going to take this hat back to kind of factory settings, if you were to use that verbiage, to get it to the point where you can uh, not have anything bubbling around and do it all have to shape around that. So we'll just keep going around, I'm adding a good bit of steam. So I'll get all the way around and show you what the first iron will kind of look like. Um, but once again, I'm not trying to get this perfectly flat, this first iron, just get everything starting to go back flat. Push down with my opposite hand, make sure to not have any wrinkles. Keep my iron moving, not pushing down too hard. Okay, we're almost all the way back around, and we'll just see what that first ironing got us. Okay, certainly if you're nervous about this, you can either wet your hat down a little bit with a spray bottle, that'll kind of keep it from getting too warm. I find, especially with black hats, there's a good bit of dye in the hat, and so you'll kind of let that wilt. So don't pick it up until it starts to cool a little bit, and I'm just going to show you here, it's starting to cool some but I'll definitely wanna let it cool flat. So I'm gonna hold it up and you can see already what that's doing. So we haven't fixed all of the problems necessarily, but we'll continue to go around and do that. Okay, so I've gone around and ironed this quite a few times and I'm gonna let it cool. The whole time I was pushing down on the crown, that's gonna help keep this 90 degree angle that they press in at the factory there. That's gonna help just basically everywhere on this hat stay correct, okay? So you're looking at your hat to deciding, you know, whether I should be done or not, some different things like that. So if you look at this hat, it's actually trying to tip up, and that's honestly in a lot of ways better than it wanting to tip down. So I'm not necessarily concerned with that. The reason why I would keep going is a couple different things. If there's still a bubble, so between the brim, or sorry, the edge of the brim, and the crown, if there's still a bubble, keep going. If for some reason this direction is not getting rid of the bubble, you can flip this hat over, set it on the side, same process and do that. I try not to just use heat everywhere, um, just cause I mean, a hat can only take so much pressure over time. And so that's where I would decide to do that. Especially if this hat has had, you know, some corners put in it, that would be where you would put, wanna put more heat. Um, just, 
you know, doesn't mean you have to get hot, hot there, but that's, you know, where you're going to have to iron it flat. This is going to do a lot of things for you. It's going to make going back and shaving it easier because it's a blank canvas, but it'll also stiffen the hat once again. So that is just a simple way to iron a felt brim flat so you can start new. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.